TXT. I'm Hope, game for IPF. And I'm Faith Anna, AE4FH. And this is our daddy, WX4TV, James. And welcome to hamradio.world. So girls, today what we're going to do is we're going to build a vertical antenna that we can use from 40 through 10 meters, maybe even 6 if the tuner can handle it, um, using a MFJ in, uh, 1917 uh, fiberglass mast. Okay, you can pull it up. It's 43 feet long. And we're going to use our NFED half wave that we got from uh, Radio Waves. It's called the Pathfinder. And it's got a 9 to 1 on on here. It's got 66 feet of wire. And we've got a pigtail that we made where we can put our radials that we made for our trailer last year um, that have alligator clips so that we can clip them on easy because it's hard to clip them onto the stud here. So what we need to do is we've got this 43 foot mast and a 66 foot piece of wire. Is the mast going to hold the wire all the way up? No. Okay, so what we did before we turned on the camera is we extended this pole and we measured out where 43 feet is and we marked it with this orange piece of tape. So as we put the antenna up, we're going to um, tie off the antenna here and about 23 feet of the antenna is going to hang down. So we made kind of a kite tail here so that as the wind blows it kind of makes it into like an inverted L. It's not the most perfect way to do this and other people might say there's a better ways to do it. Other people might say this is the best way to do it. The cool thing about antennas, if it works for you, then it's a good antenna, right? If you're making contacts, that's what it's all about. It's also about experimentation. So what we got to do is we're going to undo our Velcro here. We Velcro all of our wires and I've taught you guys and am teaching some of you guys how to wind wires with the over under method so that they don't get tangled up. We're just going to let this come down. Like this. Until we get to the part that's tied off. getting close. Here it is. All right, so the rest of it we're going to hang off this way. Now we've got to find the end of this. Hold this wire for me, please. We're going to find the end of this pole. All right, we need to find that very end there, Grace. Pull it out. Pull it straight up. Not all the way. We still need it here. We still need to be able to tie the antenna to it. Okay, so we've got a string at the end of this, like, fishing pole thing here. And we're going to tie the antenna here at the top. Now we use this at Hamcation 2017 in the same way for the special vent station that they were doing and we put it up when the wind was blowing about 20 miles per hour and the hole stood up the entire three or four days that it was up and I think they made quite a bit of contacts. I didn't see their log but I heard they were doing a good job with it so we're going to see how it does today. So we've got the Icon IC7300 with us. I'm going to try that out in a little bit. Okay, so now what we do. We just start taking this up. Oh, one other thing we got to do. And I forgot. We got to... Sometimes you make mistakes and you forget something. Oh, inside your bag is a little donut that has some strings tied to it. That goes over the mast first. So, eventually, it and it tightens down on the mast and it gives you a place to tie guy wires on or guy paracord. Okay, so here we go. Hope if you can start carefully untying these and getting them laid out flat for us, please. Grace, I think we're going to let you nail nails in the ground. How does that sound? Great. So this is kind of a long video and since I'm usually the cameraman and we're just I'm helping out build this antenna it's not going to have a lot of close-ups so what I'm doing is I'm tying this wire from the antenna 
right at the spot that we marked 43 feet. Hope is unraveling the um, three guy wires. Hey, Tana, if you want to help with one, you can. Now this one is coming untied, so we're going to need to make sure it ties better. And I think another thing we'll do eventually is we will get some hooks that we can use to hook these on better. Somebody tied these, I'm not going to name any names, um, when we did it originally, and we didn't put any bowling knots on it. We know that if we want a, a knot to stay when it's going through a loop like that, bowling's a good knot to put on it, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. You guys are working on that. I'll start raising this up. I'll check these other knots. Yeah, they're not too good. They're just half hitches, but I'm going to throw a couple more on there just to be safe. There's only one half hitch on this one, and I have no idea what knots on this one. It's two half hitches, but I'll tie two off. But we're only going to have it up for a little bit to make some contact. Okay. All right, Grace, you need to let that just hang, sweetheart. Okay. So we're going to start going up like this. Now, as we get to each part where it comes together, you're going to have to pull it and twist it a little bit to make it cinch up pretty good. Okay. Here's one. Doing the same thing. And that one. Getting up there. And there's a big vulture flying. I wonder if he thinks that it's lunch or something. It's not a vulture. What is it? Some sort of falcon. Big falcon. Okay. All right. So here... Well, that one's Vulture, but there was yeah, the one we saw was the vulture. All right, so here's here's where this donut kind of catches on. You see this? Mm -hmm. So now it's going to start raising up our guy wires. So each of you get on the end of one of these guy wires. I have this end right here. We might need to untangle this. Get it All right, Grace, that's actually not the that's the antenna wire. You need to, or when I say guy wire, I mean bear cord. Here you go. And it's going up. Going for more. Okay, walk closer with it, Gracie. As I go up, you gotta keep coming closer, sweetheart. It's starting to take it down. And it's getting up there. Okay. So, what I need you to do now, Faith Hannah, I need you to walk yours out until it gets kind of tight. Hope you do the same thing with yours. And Grace, grab yeah. yours. All right. Yeah, now, we need, uh, we need a couple of those nails. Where are the nails? All right, Faithana, can you quickly please make a loop with a bowling on the end of this one? You need a bowling loop? Yeah. Ready to hang. Or well, you want me to make it? You can make it. You can make it? Yeah, because there's dog poop. Be careful because there's dog poop there. Right. Dog poop is something you have to worry about when you, you're getting ready to do field day. So what do we do with the nail? You'll see. Got a loop You now? got a loop? Okay. Faith Hannah. I'll, I'll uh, Grace. Yeah, you can put a loop on there. Grace, go down to the end of your wire here. Or your string. Okay. Put it over the end of the there. Okay. Pull now it take tight. it out, take it out to where it's kind of tight on the ground. Alright, you don't want to pull it too tight. Alright, now go down to the ground. Now, what you need to do, Grace, look at me. You've got it straight up and down. You need to angle it about 45 degrees towards here. And then hammer it up, nope, the other way. There you go. Now go ahead and hammer it all the way down into the ground. Can you hammer it? I'm pushing it first. Okay. And I'll grab another one. So I can get 
When the wind blows, it'll help kind of make an inverted L. So it's a good temporary antenna, and we're going to try it out here in just a little bit. So now we have the antenna set up, but we have to hook it up to our radio. Here we have a one-to-one -one common mode choke, and we are connecting it because um, it can cause RFI if you don't put it on, and that can be bad for the radio and all. And it can also cause you to get RF burns as well. So I'll connect it to the antenna, connect the coax to the end of the choke. And then I have to go connect it to the radio. While she's doing that, I have four 16 and a half foot radials that we made. And since it's a vertical, we're going to use them. So I'm going to attach them and then walk them out like you would any radial. Well, we set up the antenna and we set up the radio and we're now ready to get on the air. So first we're going to tune the antenna and then ask if the frequency is in use. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use, AE4SH? CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20. This is Alpha Echo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. Alpha Echo 4, Foxtrot Hotel, calling CQ20 and standing by. Hotel India 8, Japan, Sugar, Germany. Hotel India 8, Japan, Sugar, Germany. You are 5-9 into Florida, over. Thank you for the 5-9 from Florida. 5-9 from Dominican Republic, 73, good luck, we are. 73 in QRZ, this is Whiskey Q, sorry, Alpha Echo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. Kilo 3, Whiskey Radio Kilo. Kilo 3, Whiskey Radio Kilo, you are 5-9 into Florida. Roger, you're 5 by 9 into Pennsylvania, name is Bill. Okay, QSL, Bill, and um, my name is Faith Hanna, Foxtrot Alpha India Tango Hotel. Hotel Alpha November, November Alpha Hotel, and, um... Uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but, um, so, um, I guess over. Roger. Well, you have a good day. You're sounding good in Florida. 73. 73 in QRZ. This is Alpha Echo 4, Fox Chart Hotel. CQ, 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 40 meters, CQ, 40 meters. Kilo Mike 4, India, Papa Fox Trot. Kilo Mike 4, India, Papa Fox Trot. QRZ. Alpha, Bravo. November, Quebec, Kilo Fox Trot. November, Quebec, to Foxtrot, go ahead. Roger, thank you. My name is Scott, S-C-O-T-T, -T, here in Long Island, New York. QSL, thank you for the contact, Scott. You are 5-9 in Florida. My name is Hope. Tell Oscar Papa Echo, over. Roger, Roger, you're 5-9 here in New York. Beautiful signal. Thank you, 73. QRZ, Kilo Mike 4, India, Papa Foxtrot. Alpha Bravo 4, Bravo Juliet. Alpha Bravo 4, Bravo Juliet, you are 5 9 in Florida. My name is Hope, Hotel Oscar Papa Echo, and I am 10 years old. Over. Okay, Hope, thanks for Florida. Nice signal. You're 5 9 in Georgia. The name here is Bill, Bravo India, Lima Lima. Over. Kiss out. Thank you for the contact, Bill 73. Keep Mike 4, India, Papa Foxtrot, QRZ. 
Q, 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 40 meters, Q, 40 meters, Q, 40 meters. This is Q, Mike, 4, Tango, X, or Tango. Q, Mike, 4, Tango, X, or Tango, calling to Q, 40 meters and standing by. November 0, Tango Whiskey. November 0, Tango Whiskey, you are 5'9", into Deland, Florida. My name is Grace, and I am 9 years old. Over. Um, pleased to meet you, Grace. My name is Terry. I met you down at Orlando. Over. Okay, I don't remember that. If I, I'm better at recognizing faces than call signs and names. Yeah, you guys were outside operating under a uh, tent area. Yeah, I remember that. Have fun. Nice to work you here on 40 meters. 73 and 0 TW. Cheers. 73. QZ, Kilo Mike 4, Tango X or Tango. Well, we were able to make a lot of contacts on 20 and 40 meters. But for now, we have to take down the antenna, get back home and do our ballet. Although, we're not going to do any videos on the ballet, because that's not him radio-wise. 73. 73. Goodbye.